I'm back, and we got tons of big wrestling news to cover. Timestamps in the description down below. First, we're going to kick things off with AEW's ranking system, because obviously AEW appears to have scrapped these plans. In fact, Dave Meltzer has said that they're not dead, but they have definitely been toned down, but they're not dead. There was a decision to not emphasize them as much on television, but they can always go back to doing so. Now, I don't know if Tony Khan watches this YouTube channel, but all I do know is for the last three years of covering AEW, I have said that they don't make sense, they don't belong in AEW, and it really takes away from some of the logical storytelling that AEW could be doing. We have noticed that AEW has kind of pushed those rankings to the side, and they have basically meant nothing since the time that they were introduced. And in fact, I will just go out there and say it. I don't think a ranking system works in AEW. I don't think it works in WWE. I don't think having a power rankings, a top 10 wrestler ranking, or an AEW ranking ranking system, I just don't think they matter. I don't think it's legit. I don't think it's easy to keep up with. I think it makes it much more difficult for a company to base their storytelling on a, you know, predetermined sport on a ranking system. And then, you know, if injuries happen, which we have seen with AEW so many times, injuries throw a wrench in the plans. We saw FTR win the IWGP Tag Team Championship belts and the ROH Tag Team Championship belts and the Tag Team Championship belts from AAA. We've seen these things. And when we've seen them win these belts, they were still the number one ranked tag team in AEW, yet they weren't given an opportunity to fight against Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland. So this is why I've been a major, uh, I've had a major stance on this that I will not shake. Uh, I hope WWE also doesn't introduce this. I know a while ago there was rumors about it, but for those who are wondering what's going on here, it appears that AEW may not be putting emphasis on this as much, which is a little bit disappointing because of the fact that, you know, that's kind of how they built their entire brand. But nonetheless, we're moving on. You guys remember Malachi Black, Alistair Black. We know he's come out with a statement. There's obviously been a lot of talk about Malachi Black and his situation with AEW. Now, what I found to be very interesting is Dave Meltzer and Brian Alvarez talking about Malachi Black's situation. Um, it hasn't been confirmed that Black was offered a return to WWE, but there have been obviously a lot of reports about WWE allegedly reaching out to contracted AEW talent and the names that WWE interested in in were people that worked for Triple H in NXT. Um, one of the things that was brought up, though, was the fact that Malachi Black recently wrestled at a indie show. And basically what Meltzer says is he wrestled last night, which is interesting. Then he put out a statement today, and he wanted out of AEW. I guess we'll see what happened. Obviously, he wanted to go back to WWE, and he had a lot of time left on his deal. I think four and a half hours, four and a half years left on the deal. It's an interesting thing because it's really difficult to keep someone who is unhappy under a contract for that length of time. He did sign for that length of time. The reason you sign people to contracts is so that they can't get out if they are unhappy or somebody makes an offer elsewhere. Uh, they can't just go the next day. The whole reason he was signed to a five-year big money contract was so if something happened in WWE and they wanted him back uh, and they changed his mind, that they had him and they can book him for all of those years. So it becomes an interesting situation and the same goes in the other direction too. Um, obviously, you know, there is a lot of talk here because of the conditional release. I'm not going to sit here and speculate on the release or anything like that. Malachi Black uh, obviously had some information that leaked that he was not happy about, um, just as any other person who likes to remain private is that way. All I know is I just want Malachi Black to be at his best mentally, physically, uh, whether it's AEW or WWE, wherever he wrestles, it doesn't really matter. I think wrestling is better with him on TV, uh, but at some point in life, you do got to put yourself and your family and everything first. So with that being said, uh, I, I hope everything works out for him. When the time comes, whether it's AEW or WWE at this point, I really don't see an issue with him being in either company. Um, and, and that's that's obviously a good thing. I think Triple H could do great things with him. I think Tony Khan could do great things with him as well. Uh, it just really it, it requires you to put your best foot forward, and that's how you're going to be able to get him to the very, very top. Now, what's really interesting here is we got to talk a little bit about Bray Wyatt. You guys see this image here? This was tweeted out the other day by Kyle Scarborough. Scarborough, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Obviously, there's been a lot of talks about the White Rabbit. For weeks now, there's been these teases of the White Rabbit. WWE, again, making small details matter. 
Now people are wondering what this has to do with. And of course, by now you may have heard people talk Bray Wyatt. You might have heard them talk about Karrion Cross, obviously because of the reference to Lucha Underground. Um, what's very interesting here, though, is that WWE has released an image on Instagram. And I want to show you guys this image because this is just so absolutely insane. But I think this right here confirms that Bray Wyatt is headed to WWE. We're going to pull this up. Uh, this right here is the Extreme Rules poster for WWE, uh, their next PLE on October 8th, 2022. Now, just by looking at it, you might not notice anything crazy until you zoom in. And we're just going to move this to the side and right by Riddle. There you go. You can see the lantern. Now, obviously, WWE is being very, very meticulous uh, with this whole process. As you can imagine, WWE shutting off the lights, red lights, lights interrupting Alexa Bliss's match, USA Network and WWE Raw technical difficulties. Uh, WWE is making very smuddle, subtle, small details in regards to this potential reveal. The QR code coming up on WWE Raw brings you to a whole bunch of different clues as well. But I think we got to take a look at this Extreme Rules poster and say this right here. It, it, it's it's got to be the it's got to be Bray Wyatt. And uh, you know that for those who don't know, Kyle Scarborough, he's the one who uh, I believe designs the masks for the Fiend. I want to see something interesting here, okay? And and I don't know. If there's a connection here, I'm I'm kind of spitballing. But Dexter Loomis taking out the Miz. You got Karrion Cross coming to take out uh you got Karrion Cross coming to take out Drew McIntyre, potentially wanting to take out Roman Reigns. Bray Wyatt comes back. Can there be a possibility that there might be a new group on the rise? Uh I mean, I think that's something that could be on the table when you think about it. But also, uh if Bray Wyatt's coming back, who exactly is his target? Uh, and why is his lantern in the background of Riddle and Rollins? Is this a situation where maybe Bray Wyatt goes after somebody like Riddle or Rollins? Because that's also a big possibility. I'm very intrigued here. WWE is doing all the right things when it comes to these small details. How shows are being interrupted by White Rabbit. Like, there is just so many great things happening here. We're trying to dissect it. But I think Bray Wyatt at Extreme Rules, whatever, you know, if he shows up beforehand, obviously there's been the tease for 923. Um, you know, does he show up on SmackDown? Does he show up at Extreme Rules? I don't know. But I have a very strong feeling we will be seeing him soon. Let me know what you guys think down below.